Good morning everyone, it's Scott Weddle here again. So, today's video I want to talk about letting go of your shit. Because it just, I don't know, it just dawned on my awareness as I was sitting here, like, sort of wondering what I was going to talk about. And it dawned on my awareness that recently over the last sort of month I've released a lot of shit. And from releasing it, I feel absolutely amazing. Like, I don't know, it's just us. There's an inner calmness inside that I've never experienced before. And it just gets better and better every single day. And I can deal with stuff better. Like, I don't know, I just perceive it differently now. Even, even more differently than I did a month ago. So you're always evolving, so you need to keep up with your evolution that's happening inside. And to do that, you need to release your shit. You need to forgive your past. Like, I released a lot of, a lot of shit energetically. Like, I'd cut the cord energetically, but there was a part of me still wanting to hold on to that. And it wasn't until um, my personal development mentor, Avril, looked, she looked me in the eye and she just basically called me out and she went, when are you just going to let go? Like, it's just a choice. You've got to choose right now whether you want to hold on to that or let it go. You've got a choice right now. You can choose to feel good now without without thinking about that. Because there's just a part of you that's holding on to that and you've got a choice to let it go. And when she looked me in the eye and she said that, it just, the penny dropped. Dropped, dropped, dropped. It just poof, dropped. I was like, my God, like I've actually been consciously holding on to that shit. Like I'd let it go energetically in there, but it was just like I consciously was still holding on to it. So, yeah, we need to do energetic work to release stuff. But do you know what? You have the choice. You can choose to feel good now without even letting go of any of that shit. So you've got a choice right now, like right now, to say to yourself, and tell your unconscious mind, tell yourself, I choose to feel good. I choose to focus on feeling good. And I choose to forget, sorry, not forget, forgive the past. I choose to forgive it and I choose to learn from it because the mistakes are lessons, are vital lessons that have pushed me forward to where I am today. And when I come across a situation, a situation in the future, they're going to teach me what to do when I come across that situation. So no matter what you've done, if you if you were a horrible person in the past, or you you were you were the or you were at the other end of the bullying, or you were getting slagged, or you were slagging other people, or you were just treating people like shit, or whatever, doesn't matter now, right? Who cares? Like it's done, it's over. Get on with it. You you've, you're here to live your life, not dwell on what happened, unless it serves you. Unless it's a good memory back there. Why dwell on it? Why? Like, you have got a choice. And it's just as simple as choice. Everything everything in life is a choice. The more you like, just realise that you've got the free will. You've been blessed with free will to choose what you want to do in life. So, you can choose to wake up every day and feel like shit. You can choose to dwell on the past. You can choose to... Get caught up in that rat race um, all your life and then later on in life wonder and walk about the place like a zombie. You get to choose to be like that because you chose it. Or you could choose to wake up full of energy. Like I only had five hours sleep last night and I woke up full of energy, still done my workout and as you can see I'm pretty energetic. Yeah? And I know five hours sleep, should have got seven but never mind it happens. Um, something happened and it was worth staying up for. So... Good, all good. Right, anyway, we get to choose to wake up, feel good, have energy, because we create it, yeah? We create it. One of the best quotes I've ever heard from a guy called Brendan Butchard, I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, and it really hit home with me, and I don't know, it's just like lately I've really understood it, yeah? I, I, I sort of understood it. But now I just understand it. It's just weird to explain that, but 
you that we've we've all been through that reading books and then you don't understand it then a month later you're like wow I know what that means it's just the same sort of thing so like he he says that the 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 power plant doesn't have energy it generates it right that's what he says and it just so resonates with me and just like you don't have energy you create it you don't have happiness you create it you create it do you know what you create it with your thoughts thoughts become things whether they become internal happiness whether they become a new car whether they become a new house whether they become you traveling the world whether they become a new business whether they become hitting your income goals whether they become whatever new relationship whatever thoughts become things let that sink in right now your thoughts become things like so what are you thinking about that's serving you and what are you thinking about that's not serving you and remember you get to choose you get to choose to leave your job and go and live your dreams because you can do it you can you get to choose to have the body of your dreams you get to choose to have energy you get to choose to be productive you get to choose to just feel amazing from the inside out yes shit might come up into your awareness i'm not going to say it's all all hunky dory over here shit comes into your awareness or you have a negative moment or a character building moment like i call them nothing's negative it's a character building moment you sit you observe it you notice it and you just laugh at it and go what am i getting worried about or if you feel yourself getting caught up remember the release technique it works so 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 well so like i just i just challenge you i challenge you to start thinking differently i challenge you to start choosing better choices for you and I just challenge you to be a better person. Like, and if you're sitting there saying to yourself, I've not got any shit to work on, I'm sorry, but you're in denial. Like, we've all got shit we need to work on. Like, and just, when it comes up into your awareness, work on it. Like, if something comes up into my awareness tomorrow, I will work on it. And uh, honesty is the best policy, whether it's on being honest to yourself, being honest to your loved ones, being honest to whoever, your work colleagues, if you lie, it's going to come back round, it's going to bite you right in the bum. Trust me, I've learnt the hard way. Yeah? Karma does happen. It does, and it teaches you vital lessons. So, I just want to leave you with one little thought. The next time you go to do something, right, in life, ask yourself, would I like that to happen to me? I've been caught up in this a lot. And I've done things and then three weeks later they've happened to me and I'm like, fuck. I just done that to someone three weeks ago and I feel like shit now. But then again, you learn from it. You feel like shit for about five minutes, you get caught up in your head and then you're like, Whew, let it go. We're only human. We only make mistakes. Mistakes are good. Lessons are good. All right? So I'm going to leave you with that today. But remember, you get to choose to be anything, do anything, or have anything you want. And remember, no matter where you are in life, you can get to where you want to be with the right mindset and correct aligned action. Now, remember guys, I'm working with people next, as starting next week for an eight-week intensive to really get to the bottom of these subconscious and emotional roadblocks that are holding you back in life from moving forward and doing what you want to do. So... If you want to have that body of your dreams, if you want to start your own business, if you want to grow your business, if you want to remove these blocks inside that are stopping you and you're like, I just know something's stopping me. I've been there. I've done it. I know how to release this shit. And I keep releasing more shit as it comes up. So we need to cut the tire energetically. We need to get you thinking differently. And we need to give you systems that you can put into your life that are going to support you moving forward or, your, or support your business moving forward support your relationships moving forward whatever so if this interests you reach out it's only a week to go you need to act quick because i really want to help people so i'll leave you with that and i'll speak to you again tomorrow have a good one